My name is Dorothy Turner. My granddaughter, Alicia, was killed in June 2013. She was 27 years old. She was killed by a drunk driver. She was just a joy to be with, always a joy to be with. I just miss her so much. She, just watching her grow up is absolutely amazing. Nothing was ever too much trouble. She was such a happy soul and everybody just loved Alicia so much. She was going to see a partner, Matthew, down Murray Bridge. And um, yeah, uh, she says, I'm going grandma. And I say, yeah, fine, no worries. The major crash police came knocking at the door about nine o'clock on a Saturday night. And they were saying, look, you know, do you know Alicia? And I'm saying, oh, of course I know Alicia. Where is she? Like, you know, and I said, well, we're sorry to tell you there's been an accident. And they like, oh, where is she? I'll come to, you know, tell me where she is. And I said, well, we're very sorry, but she's in the morgue at Murray Bridge. And I'm saying, what? You can't be. That's not true. That's not right. You know, it was absolutely horrendous. The whole thing was just too much. She was such a beautiful girl. And for no fault of her own, she was taken away from us, all because of a man who decided to get drunk and drive his car into a house where Alicia was lying down and killed her outright. You, you try and cope because you don't sleep. You're still waiting for Alicia to come back in the door because it's all been a horrible mistake. I lost my daughter seven months later after it because she couldn't cope with the loss of Leisha, so all because of a drunken driver. We miss that every day and not a day goes by without we think about it. And you think that after all this time that the wounds would have healed, but it doesn't, it doesn't get any better. The driver made a bad choice to drink and drive. If he didn't, Alicia would still be alive today.